All right, welcome to another episode of New York Giants Full Access Giants Twitter and media responses with your boy Big Pat Sports Talk. I'm gonna like doing these. We're gonna look at a couple of media things and we're gonna get into some of these Giants tweets. And I got some good ones today. So let's tune in and let's get it. Giants for access. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, you your boy, Big Passports Talk. New segment, episode two. Giants Twitter and media with your boy, Big Passports Talk on New York Giants for access. And today, we're going to look at a few things. Like the first episode, you know, I'm going to go into some media aspects with the Giants, and we're going to get into this Giants Twitter, man, because you guys be wilding, and this is the show to show you exactly how Giants fans be wilding. Some things you can say are, are very good and valid points, and some of the things you say, man, just had me crack it up like Phil Jerkovich. I'm never going to forget that, but <laughs> Phil Jerkovich. Lord have mercy. Every time I think about it, my head hurts. But let's get into the media room and let's get into this media. All right, what's the Giants Twitter media response show on full access with Big Pass Sports Talk without our commander in chief, Mr. Brian Debo? This comes from a media response that he had today. Uh, this is about Daniel Jones. So. Brian Dable, you're at the bat. Let's see what you got to say about Mr. Daniel Jones today. Daniel? Just, I've heard he was a hard worker. I get to see it. He, he is extremely hard. He's here all the time, but he's... He's more on the quiet side, but he is ultra, ultra competitive. Um, and he does a really good job in the huddle with his teammates when you just step out and listen to him. Um, I think he's a good leader. So you heard it from Mr. Brian Dabo himself. It's a silent but deadly leader. I put my own spin on it, but you know, he's the, he's the quiet type. Eli was the quiet type. He wasn't a rah-rah type. And those quiet guys are... Uh, likely the most dangerous a lot of those real quiet guys you want to mess with they turn out to be real dangerous when you turn them up but he says he's a good leader and I, I, i'll accept that i'll accept that daniel jones is a good leader i mean if he was a horrible leader those guys wouldn't want to go work out with him every summer um this team wouldn't have fell apart the way that it did after he got injured so i mean brian Debo has said some very good things about daniel jones and I believe they are true, what he says about Daniel Jones. But I also know that if Daniel Jones doesn't produce this year, no matter what the circumstances are, he will not be a New York Giant next year. So I understand the fans that are going to say, well, Daniel Jones sucks. He's just saying that just to say that. Maybe partly true. Maybe partly true. But uh, I do believe they believe in Daniel Jones and – We'll see what they say going forward. But let's see what some of the responses are. Looks like there's only four responses so far. Average Beast, what's going on, man? He says, Sean and Dable won't give any full-throated vote of confidence responses to the media about players they didn't draft and probably didn't scout. Those will get every opportunity to earn their trust and respect moving forward. That is very true, and I have to hit a like on that. That's a very true statement right there. They're not going to give you a full throw response on anybody they didn't draft because they didn't draft them. It's not part of, it's not part of their regime. So you're going to have to go out there and perform to show them that you can still be on this team the very next year. That was a very good response, Average Beast. Like that. Uh, KC he said this will uh, somehow translate into even Dave thinks DJ is a piece of crap. Get rid of him. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. That hey, that statement right there is true. <laughs> yeah, that is gonna translate that Dave uh, Dave's thinks DJ is trash, right? 
Uh, Joe says, I hope DJ does well, but I'm not sure he's our QB of the future. That is very good as well. That is very good as well. Uh, Bay says he's locked in. Yeah, he's locked in. Let's see what two people had to say in response to KC. Uh, he said, you're absolutely right. Uh, this is Billy, Billy Badass. What's going on, Billy Badass? He says, you're absolutely right. Fan base of media full of weirdos. Yes, yes, they are. Yes, they are. But yeah, that's the that's the that's how he feels about DJ, and he may be speaking truth. But we all know that. Hey, look, moving forward, Dan Jones might not be the quarterback of the uh, Giants next year. It's just true. So uh, I'm gonna take that to. I think he believes he is a leader, but we'll move on. All right, guys. Here's a piece of media that you guys may be interested in. The Giants released their official depth chart uh, yesterday. Um, let's see exactly what they have on there. Uh, at the receiver position, we got Kenny Galladay can't get right. We got Wondell Robinson at the slot starting the season. Now, does that mean Sterling Shepard is not ready? Or does that mean they really have that much trust in Wondell Robinson? We will see. But that, that's a little bit of a surprise for me. They have Wondell Robinson starting at the slot position. We'll see when they get on the field if that, that holds up true. Uh, at right tackle, we got Evan Neal. We got Glowinski at right guard. Feliciano at center. We got Ben Bredesen at left guard with a Zudu backing him up. And Andrew Thomas at left tackle. Now, as you can see, we got a Zudu as the backup left guard and the backup left tackle. We got Hamilton at the backup right tackle. Tyree Phillips made the team. Jack Anderson made the team. Uh, we all know Barkley's going to be the starter with Breida backing him up. We got Kadarius Joker Tony at the outside receiver number two. Daniel Bellinger is the starting tight end with Tanner Hudson backing him up. We only have two tight ends on the on the team. Well, really three, but they got Chris Myrick as a fullback slash tight end H back and then Daniel Jones you know is the starting quarterback um at nose tackle we got Dexter Lawrence at defensive tackle basically the three four in is going to be Leonard Williams big cat Williams just got the big restructure big cat go out there and show them exactly the reason why you the big cat Aziz Ojolari at one edge and Kayvon Thibodeau at the other edge hopefully those guys can be healthy but we got Jahad Ward and O'Shane Zimenez backing up Ojolari and Thibodeau. We got Ellis and Nick Williams backing up Dexter Lawrence and Leonard Williams. DJ Davidson, wild card. Tamon Fox is going to be a backup to those guys. Uh, middle linebacker, we got uh, Tay Crowder uh, starting. And Michael McFadden starting at the uh, – No. Actually, we got Tate Crowley and Calitro starting at the uh, middle linebackers. Uh, you got Michael McFadden and Carter Coughlin and Cam Brown backing those guys up. So our front seven is looking like Sexy Dexy, Big Cat, Ojolari, Tibbs, Crowder, Calitro. I can work with that. I can work with that. Definitely can work with that. And you know Jahai War is going to be at the other uh, end. So, all right. Left cornerback of Dory Jackson. You know the right cornerback is going to be Aaron Robinson. They got uh, Cordell Flott backing up all three cornerback positions. Darnay Holmes is the starting nickel this year. Got Nick uh, McLeod and Justin Lane backing those guys up. And then at strong safety, we got Julian Love and Xavier McKinney. Dane Belton is actually on the death chart, and he may be playing week one after – suffering that shoulder injury which is pretty good but julian love and xavier mckinney and dane belton i like those three safeties there special teams we all know the, uh the snappers casey uh crater punter gillian richie james is uh the punt returner and gary Bra uh, brightwell is the kick returner and graham gano best kicker in the league so i, I i'm i'm the only shock that I see is Wondell Robinson is the starter at the slot, man. That's, that's pretty dope, man. Hopefully, he turns out to be a monster. But, yeah, that 
that lineup, I, I, I'm with it. Let's see what we can do against the Titans uh, week one. Let's see. But I think Daniel Bellinger and Wanda Robinson getting starting jobs is, is pretty good from your draft class. And Let's hope uh, Shane Lemieux gets back healthy. There's reports that Nick Gates is actually might be able to play this year, which is dope. Hopefully he could come back. And let's see if uh, Wanda Robinson can uh, fight off Sterling Shepard to have that starting slot role. We'll see. All right, here we got a tweet from Mr. Jordan Renan. This came up today at 12.19 p.m. He says, Giants receiver Darius Slayton, excuse, was not at practice today for the New York Giants. Got an excused absence. Now, that could be any number of reasons uh, why he got an excused absence. I don't know, maybe someone's sick in his family. Hopefully everything is okay with him. But does this mean that the Giants may be getting ready to cut or trade Darius Slayton? Who knows? But let's see what Giants Twitter thinks about it. Uh, Joshua, he says, oh, he gone. <laughs> Why do you guys want Darius Slayton gone so bad? Like, what? what? Like, Lord have mercy. Besides that first that, that drop with Washington, you guys were praising him. But until the media puts it out there that he has a high drop percentage, even though he had minimum targets last year, the guy had almost 1,500 yards in his first year with 11 touchdowns. I mean, his first two years with 11 touchdowns as a fifth-round pick. Some first and second-round picks don't even do that. I don't get it, but Joshua says, oh, he gone. Curtis Taylor says, uh-oh. Meaning, hey, he might get released. Mason, he says it gets released tomorrow. Like, y'all got this much confidence in David Seals? We already got Kenny Galladay on the man. Let's see exactly what where his head is at. If Kenny Galladay doesn't show up, you're that comfortable with David Seals coming in there. The guy has, does he even have a catch in the regular season? I don't even think the only time he really came in, I seen him during the game to come in, he dropped it. So you really to get rid of a guy that almost has 2,000 yards, 13 touchdowns in three years with the Giants, and two of those years were with Joe Judge over the offense. For a guy that has not I don't even think he has a regular season catch. If he does, please bring it up. And one of the only opportunities that he got, he dropped it. And he couldn't beat out Pharaoh Cooper and Dante Pettis. Come on, people. But Mason says gets a release tomorrow. Elsley says, ha ha. I guess that means I'm glad they might get rid of him. Crabtree says they did that with Blake Martinez too. True. Elijah says he gone. Mar, R.I.P. Spencer Webb says, yes, Lord, please cut him. Like, man, he gone. I still think they're trying to find a trade partner. L. Jeffy, now behind seals on the death chart. We've seen this before. He's gone. Traded to Houston. Sebastian, scissors means cut. Trade incoming. Last on the death chart, too. Chad Wright, he gone. Wandell, injury report. Jordan, any speculation as to why? Mike D'Angelo says, wait, I've seen this one before. Hope he on his way to the Ravens. He's gone. Don't like the track record of excused Giants players. He gone. We know what happens next. He is gone. Like, man, everybody wants this. Guy gone. He says, Joe the snake strikes again. Now Joe Shane's a snake. Like, man, this is crazy. Like, why does everybody want this man gone so bad? Y'all act like this man has never did anything for this team. You know, most of the big plays, the big receiving plays that we had the past three years have gone to the man that you won't cut for a man that has played probably one or two games in NFL regular season play. And drop one of the only opportunities that he got.
and you want a man that's been productive, not just played in a regular Slayton has been productive. Was slated to be the number one receiver after his rookie year. He's been productive. And you want to cut this man for one of the preseason heavyweight champs and David Seals. Giants Twitter, are you guys shitting me? What has D David Seals done to be this much garner over Darius Slayton? I don't understand it. You guys are going to have to tell me this, man. All these tweets, he gone. Uh-oh, he gone. Cut him. Oh, my God. Please cut him. Thank you. Cut him. Trade him. Do -do 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 we don't need the cap room, so why would they cut him unless he tells the Giants that he doesn't want to play? They got the cap room because they restructured Leonard Williams. So they don't need the cap room. I don't I don't see what the deal with you guys is on this Darius Slayton aspect. It's crazy to me. David Seals, boy. Hey, just have to show you a little bit more on this Darius Slayton aspect. Shout out to NYG22. I got to give my big blue crew members some love. As you see, they're going, that 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 texting each other right now. This is dope. He says, look, guys, they're making moves to help out Jones to be the best QB he can. Slayton is a part of that. GM came out and said so himself that he wasn't trading Slayton. I don't know what people can't see that Slayton can help this offense and Jones. True. True. You get Slayton out there in space, it's a problem. Shout out to NYG22. That's my dog, man. Go su su subscribe to his channel if I could get it out. Subscribe to his channel, Unpopular Opinion Sports. Dope content, film reviews, talking about all the New York Tri-State teams. Nets, Knicks, Mets, Yankees, all of them. Hockey, all of them. Go, go highlight my boy, man. Unofficial, I mean, un unpopular opinion sports, man. But he also says, me and Big Pass Sports put out multiple videos showing y'all how they plan to use Slayton. He was more value on this team than a sixth or seventh round pick. True. True. And hey, just to show you guys a little bit of what me and NYG were talking about, let me show you. it over the middle he's got a first down and that's Darius this Slayton. is what he did his rookie year how many times has Seals caught a deep pass from Dan down Jones in the regular season the right side. It's caught at midfield. this was Dan Jones first and game and look how many times he connected with Slayton is Seals doing this for us even in the preseason is he doing that for us those are number one cornerbacks out there that he's beating as he makes the catch at the 48 those are not that's Xavier Rhodes. Forty-six yard line where he's still on McCordy. Beat him on a slant. Throws one deep over the middle and completes it to the forty one. He just jumped over. Is David Seals doing this on a regular basis? Is he mossing people for touchdowns in the regular season? Like I I don't get you, Cat. Because he is coming through like a big time. Asset for this is, yeah, has David Seals done that even in the preseason? How many touchdowns has David Seals got in the preseason? It looks like Daniel Jones has a pretty good connection with Slayton right there, don't he? Is Seals doing that? Is he making people fall on the field? Looks like he got pretty good hands right there. Looks like Eli. It looks like Eli Manning liked them too. Out at the Philadelphia 30. Who else was doing at the Philadelphia that year? That's Eli Manning still throwing it to him. So Eli Manning had a connection with him immediately as well. Is David Seals or Alex Bachman doing that? Doing this? 
can can, can they do that? That's another number one corner on the team. For the touchdown, Darius Slayton on the. As Jones takes the shotgun snap under pressure and completes it. Like, completes is, it can Slayton Seals bring this to this team? Throws it into the end zone. Touchdown. Can Seals do any of this? Please explain to me what 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 David Seals has over this man. Right side. There's Slayton on the run to the 40. Up to midfield to the left sideline and finally dragged out of bounds. Back to throw, taking a deep shot down the right sideline. Oh my God, that's a one-handed catch on a corner in a regular season game. Another touchdown by Slayton. Completes it. The Seals has that type of speed. Under pressure, looking. Nobody's open now. Look at that. He did right. it against the Buccaneers Passing twice. Stumbling and fighting for the first down is Slayton. He's got it. What an where, where are you guys getting this? David Seals is better than Slayton. He continues to kill the Eagles. Right. I don't, I don't understand where you guys are getting this from. I don't understand it. Shout out to the Big Blue Crew, but I don't understand where you guys are getting this from. Like, look at this. Look look at the stuff that you guys are putting out there about Slayton. Look at this. Joe Shane finally getting rid of Slayton. Now they got to do taking out the trash. So Darius Slayton is trash. Okay. Fizz Vegas, hopefully he's traded. All right, let's see what Art Stapleton has to say about it. It says, Jer Giants receiver Darius Slayton was not at practice. His absence was excused by the team per source. For the sake of connecting the docs, Blake Martinez was excused from practice last week and was released a day later. Unclear if Slayton's situation will have a familiar outcome. And look at this. Dear sweet baby Jesus, praying you get rid of him. Wait to see if, if when he scrubs his social media accounts. Guessing he's gone. We signed Marcus Johnson to the practice squad with the intent to pro promote him to the roster. Okay. Don't just release him, please. Exactly. What value does he have, though? Only upside to him is age. He can't catch and he can't run any routes except deep routes. Well, I just showed you a video where he was running all type of routes. And he, he made somebody fall on the floor, weeping monkey. I don't get it. Brooklyn Fletch, he says, and it comes to the heels of having a bit of extra cash. So his $2.5 million is needed now. Interesting or not. We just restructured Leo, Leo Williams. We got cap. He said, better get something for him. If you do get him, hopefully he's tra he's being traded. He was buried, buried on the death chart. I bet he's getting released. If they're going to trade him now that there is some extra money, maybe they can get a decent tight end that will start for him. A team easily can need a receiver depth that has a lot of tight ends. Just really hope it's not just a release. I Me either. He says, dang, I really like Slayton as our receiver. Thank you. Somebody's showing Slayton some love. My goodness. He says, I don't think every time a player has an excuse practice means he's getting cut. Seems like a stretch. It does to me too, bro. He said, he's cut. You can bank on that. Well, there goes that thought of a big year. We can only hope. We can only hope that he gets cut. Like, man, maybe they found a trade. I also feel like it's a good time, as any, to remind people that open cap space rolls over in the NFL. True. I still can't believe they let Martinez go. But you want to let go of uh, Slayton really bad. Uh, okay. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Shout out to Darius Slate, man. Hopefully everything works out for you. Even if they do get rid of you, I hope you go to another team and you shine and show exactly what you're supposed to do. I don't think you're getting cut, but I know if they cut you, it would be a mistake because I believe they can use you very well in this offense. All right, now we're at the part of the show where we see where Giants fans all over the world are saying in the Giants community. So, let's get into it. St. Wren, he says, FSU, Jordan Travis should be on our view. Play very well in the pocket with no line. So, uh, Jordan Travis, I will say this. He's a work in progress. Do I believe that he's a very good starting caliber quarterback coming out this year's draft? No, I do not. Not by a long shot. Not by a long shot. All right, Ms. Lano says, even if Barkley goes off for like 2,000 plus yards from scrimmage, I don't want him resign. You know what, running backs. 
like so you're well you're not willing to resign a guy that gives you two thousand plus yards from scrimmage because you don't like running back so we lose two thousand all-purpose yards for what because we're gonna have the cap room to resign them if barkley shines like that why wouldn't you at the very least franchise him to see if he could do it again but you would just let him walk a guy that gives you two thousand plus yards from scrimmage listen to how crazy that sounds you mean to tell me if barkley goes off for two thousand plus yards from scrimmage you don't want them to resign. You want them to walk. Man, that's some of the best logic I've ever heard, man. Some of the best logic I've ever heard. And, oh, yeah. You get the first what are you doing for today's show. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? What is wrong with you? Hey, 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 hey. That's absolutely crazy. What are you doing? A person puts up 2,000 yards from scrimmage. <laughs> hey, you, do, you didn't even say franchise with traders. You just said don't even resign them. Just let them walk. <sighs> okay. You got it. All right. Here's the second set. He says, can Jason, he says, can anyone assist me in giving me the keys to winning on Sunday? Is it more offense or defense that needs to step up? Jason, I got a response for you. Go in to Big Pass Sports Talk. First hit the like. First hit the subscribe. Then join if you want to join the Big Blue Crew and talk your talk no matter what people thought. And then I want you to go to a video. Five keys to success for the Giants to beat the Titans with Big Pat Sports Talk. I think I answer every question that you would actually have for me. And I think I answer every question that you have on your post. So go to Big Pat Sports Talk. Hit that like and subscribe, man. Five keys to success for the Giants to beat the Tennessee Titans this Sunday coming up. Check that video, man. I got some good stuff. Daniel. He says Holmes or A Rob for cornerback two. I will say this: it will be A Rob in the beginning of the season, but if he shows that he can't guard that back shoulder throw or continues to get beat deep, Holmes may have to kick out to the slot. I mean, kick out to the uh, cornerback and let Flot play the slot. Hey, that rhymes. Flot slot. That rhymes. But yeah, a, a, a Rob is under a microscope for me so far in the beginning of this in the beginning of the season. I have to see what he does. All right, N O Darth Nobody five five four. He says Cordell Flott should start at cornerback two. Hey, he might get that chance if Aaron Robinson shows that he's not ready to start. So Flott might get that chance. So he's gonna have to show up. Real talk. But I'm not saying that he should start week, uh, at cornerback two week one. But we will see. Because he may be getting some starting reps very soon if A-Rob shows that he continues to get beat deep. For real. All right. We got Chris C. Jose 68. He says, how are y'all feeling about Saquon and fantasy and the Giants O-line overall? I think Saquon fantasy is an underrated pickup in fan fantasy football this year. I tried to get him twice, and unfortunately, I couldn't get him. I he was picked like one pick before me in both drafts, which is crazy. Uh, the Giants over uh, O-line overall, brother, I would tell you that, hey, look, the offensive line is going to be very good at run blocking, which makes Saquon's fantasy value go up, up, up. And their pass blocking, uh, it leaves a little bit to desire, but I believe they will they will gel. Given about three games, three, four games, they'll gel and find out exactly how it goes. But Saquon Barkley will be good as a pass catcher and a runner this year. Man, you got you a good one if you got Saquon Barkley, brother. Y A T G Y, I don't know. Jason Peters, a op, a team up with the other ops. Laugh out loud. Bradbury is goofy, also. New York Giants, Giants versus the Reds. Shout out to Y A for having some positivity to speak about the Giants. Yes, Jason Peters is still an op. He went to the Cowboys. He's 40 years old, has 55 year old knees, and he's won one false step from tearing his ACL. 
I mean, I promise you, that dude gets hurt every year, but he seems to stay around. Dude's a warrior. He's a Hall of Famer. I, he might be a first ballot Hall of Famer because he, he's been playing a very long time at a high level. It's just that, the, like, the past three to four years, he's been getting hurt. So those injuries have been catching up to him. But lastly, he played with the Bears before he went to the Cowboys. So shout out to Jason Peters. Hopefully, uh, we get uh, Thibodeau against him and we get past him and hit uh, Dak Prescott a couple of times. Hey, Gary says, Art just reminded me about Lorenzo Carter. No, please no. All right, I'm enjoying this, man. Luis, he says, Ben McAdoo-doo took us to the playoffs in his first year with the roster looking sus. I say we take a big effing jump this year. Hey, look, shout out to the positivity. We might be able to take a big jump this year and go 11-6. and six. Like McAdoo went 11-5 and five his first year, but we're going to go 11-6, and six and we might get a playoff victory this year. Who knows? I truly believe that this team could be could surprise a lot of teams for real, for real. Eleven and six, man, Big Blue Crew. Louise, hit that like and subscribe button. Come join the Big Blue Crew and be positive with us, man. Thank you for the positivity. Art, he says you guys have a beast in Wandell. I predict that by week four he'll be the starting slot receiver. Well, I will tell you this: I just proved you right, but you were three weeks off. He's the start receiver week one, Art. So hopefully what you say is true, and I pretty much know it to be true. Once he gets uh, acclimated to the NFL speed, man, that dude's going to be a problem, man. That's why they. That's why we drafted him in the second round for a reason. But Art, you was on to something. You was just a couple of weeks late, brother. Shout out to Art. Uh, Greg, he says, it doesn't make sense to take Rosen off Cleveland's practice squad. He's really not better than Taylor. Right. Who the hell wants Josh Rosen Yo, Greg, are you telling me Giants has been telling you we should get Josh Rosen off Cleveland's practice squad to be the number two? What in the hell? Hey, 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 hey. What are you what doing? What are you doing? Who's what saying that? Hey, hey. Who is saying that? Please tell me who is saying that. That is absolutely insane. Josh Rosen, that's worse than Phil Jerkovic. Somebody said get Josh Rosen off Cleveland's practice squad? Are you serious? <sighs> Shout out to El Guerra Loco. He posted the unofficial Titans death chart. At receiver, they got Nick Westbrook. And Robert Wood starting at the 1-2. And Traylon Burks is going to be the slot and the backup to those guys. And Cal Phillips will be the slot as well uh, from UCLA. Got Austin Hooper at tight end. Got Oconquo from Maryland, the tight end, rookie tight end from Maryland, backing Hooper up. Oconquo has a lot of good speed for the tight end position. You got Taylor Lewan at left tackle who is not what he used to be. You got Aaron Brewer, who? Ben Jones, solid, but can be beaten down by Leo Williams. Nate Davis, who? Nicholas Petit Ferrer, right tackle at Ohio State. We can get past him. They got another tight end, a GF Swain. And Tannehill at quarterback. Malik Willis backing him up. King Henry, Dontrell Hilliard, Hassan Hackens from Michigan, and Julius Chestnut. Who? I'm not scared of that offense at all. I'm not scared of that offense at all. Let's get to their defense. Demarcus Walker. All right. Uh, Tier Tart. Good. Jeffrey Sim uh, Simmons. A monster. Bud Dupree can be a monster if you let him be. David Long Jr. Pretty good. Zach Cunningham, pretty good. Altry, pretty good. Unfortunately, Harold Landry got hurt from them for them, but Archery is no slouch. Roger McCrary, no slouch. Kevin Byer, one of the best safeties in the league. Armani Hooker is upcoming. 
and Christian Fulton, very good. Caleb Fairley, always hurt. Elijah Molden, Wiley veteran. Their defense is pretty good. I say we'll we'll have a little bit of trouble with their defense, but their defense is pretty good. Randy Bullock, uh, Stonehouse at kicker and punter. Kyle Phillips, not scared of him returning anything. And Hilliard, not scared of him returning anything. So, shout out to uh, El Guero, Guero Loco for showing us the Titans unofficial death chart. All right, we're going to get in one more set of tweets, and then we're going to end this show. So, we're going to end this show <laughs> with some tweets uh, from Mr. Zach. He says, what's your take? Is the defense going to be better or worse than the two seasons ago when we were top 10 under point, uh, under point I guess, points per game? Uh, I think this defense is going to be better. If it is worse, it's not going to be by much. But I think this defense has a lot more talent than what that defense has. And I believe if you give Leo Williams a partner in there in the inside of the line and get some edge rushers out there they have to worry about, I mean, he, he shined with Kyle Frackle out there. So, yeah, I think this defense is going to be better, Zach. Um, hey, come back to Big Pass Sports Talk, and we'll talk about it around midpoint in the season to see if uh, my take is right on that. I believe it will be, but we will see. Joe, he says, how many wins realistically do you think the Giants get this year? Man, this is the Big Blue Crew. You already know what the moniker is. 11-6, back on our bull. You know what I'm talking about. So, it is what it is. Big, Spike the Great, he says, the old line better give Jones a lot of time because if he's waiting for Galladay to break free, it'll be a long wait. Well, first of all... <laughs> First, what I will tell you is, is that Kenny Galladay's name is Can't Get Right. <laughs> That's his name going into the season, Can't Get Right. Hopefully he has a very good season, but man, I will tell you this. That is true. If he's waiting for Kenny Galladay to break free, it's going to be a long wait, brother. You are not lying about that one, cuz. <laughs> It's going to be a long way because that man can't get separation if his life depended on it. In the famous words of the Big Blue Crew, we're going to miss you can't get right. <laughs> we're going to miss you can't get right. Because I promise you, if he has to wait for Kenny Galladay, oh, it's going to be a problem. A serious problem. I promise you. Evan Neal, Andrew Thomas, man, get your weight up. Because if we got to wait for it, can't get right, mm -hmm. I don't know what to tell you. But, man, I appreciate all these tweets that we that were put out. Let's get back into the main studio. Let's close this out, man. All right, guys. This has been New York Giants Full, full Access with Big Pass Sports Talk. Giants, Twitter, and media reaction. Hopefully you and guys enjoyed the show today. I had a very good time reading some of those Twitter things. Y'all better quit disrespecting Darius Slayton, man. And for the people that were mentioning Josh Rosen, for the Giants to get him off the Browns practice squad, hey, look, I'm going to tell you like Brian Stroman, you're going to get these hands. Stop doing this. It's Daniel Jones and Tyrod Taylor. Ain't none of these other bum quarterbacks y'all talking about go come in here and do any better than what Dan Jones can do. If Dan Jones sucks, we move on next year and get a quarterback next year. That's just the way it's going to be. Stop it. I'm telling you. Just stop. <laughs> Where's this field chill? Oh, my goodness. I didn't think Phil Jerkovich could be topped. But doing today's show, it was Josh Rosen? What is happening? Giants fans, y'all got to do better than this. Josh Rosen? What is Josh Rosen going to do? Lord have mercy. Hey, man. Like I said, man, this has been Giants Twitter reactions, Twitter and media reactions with Big Pass Sports Talk right here on New York Giants Full Access. Where else would you get this type of content? Nowhere. Just right here. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. 
hit that join button so shows like these can continue to go on and support the channel support the content talk your talk with big passports talk and come join the big blue crew just hit that big blue join button but until the next episode appreciate you guys if you're still here watching through this episode you know what it is man hey this has been a big blue crew production